This is the Tesla Roadster. It's a well-engineered electric vehicle and it's exactly what the world needs right now. Although at $109,000 it's slightly out of reach for the average consumer. Here are the specifications. It's powered by 6,831 3.7 volt lithium ion cells all connected in a combination of parallel and series connections to yield 366 DC volts rated at 56 kilowatt hours of electrical power. You can get about 650 amps from this pack. The battery pack is in the back over the rear axle and it weighs about a thousand pounds. That power drives an AC motor that can produce 248 brake horsepower at 8500 RPM. However, that's not the RPM limit. It can spin to 13,000 RPM. AC motors are not known for torque like their DC cousins, but this motor can still muster 205 foot-pounds of torque from 0 to 6,000 RPM. The motor is transverse mounted to a two-speed transaxle in the back of the car. The ratios are 4.2 to 1 for first gear, second gear is 2.17 to 1, and the final drive ratio is 3.41 to 1. The car has a Lotus built aluminum frame and carbon fiber body panels which keeps the weight to an athletic 2700 pounds. The car can accelerate to 60 miles an hour in 3.9 seconds and ultimately to 125 miles an hour. The range is around 225 miles. The fast three and a half hour charger needs 240 volts at 70 amps, so installation in your home will require the services of an electrician. The slower 115 volt 15 amp charger can charge a battery pack in about 40 hours. The bottom line is, it's an awesome car, and it doesn't need any gas. There are some engineering tricks that were employed to keep the batteries cool while charging. This car has a radiator up front with dual fans. Antifreeze is circulated by an electric pump to every individual cell in the battery pack. The dangerous thing is, advanced batteries like nickel metal hydride and lithium ion cells are sensitive to any overcharging. So much so that charging too fast or too much can result in violent cell explosions and fire. You've got to control the heat. The engineers have apparently done that with the cooling system and some very smart chargers. So, since there is a cooling system, does it use a radiator cap? And if so, will thermal cap fit the filler neck? That's what we'd like to know. In any case, we love this car.